Can you share a little bit of how ThoughtWorks comes up with this technology radar? How do people at ThoughtWorks stay this close to what is happening at industry? So it started just over 10 years or so ago. So Rebecca became CTO and she said, I want an advisory board who will keep me connected with what's going on in projects. We would just get together and we'd talk through this stuff. And then one of these meetings, Daryl Smith, who was actually her TA at the time, technical assistant, he said, we've got all these projects going on. It would be good to get some pictures what kinds of technologies we're using and how useful they are. And he came up with this idea of the radar metaphor and the rings of the radar that we see today. And we had the meeting and we created the radar. And it's a habit that if we do something for internal purposes, we try and just make it public. Now, the process has changed a bit over time. At that original meeting, and we've also created more of a process where people can submit blips, nominate them, a blip being a point on the radar, an entry. And they will go to somebody that either connected through geographic or through the line of business or technology or whatever and say, hey, we think this technology is interesting. They'll brief us a little bit about it. And so it's very much this bottom-up exercise. And that's how it's created now. And sometimes I latch on to certain themes or something like that. And that was an important part of microservices about 10 years ago because that came up in through that radar process. 